Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Christmas edition of Paco Bear Fishing and Outdoors. Now, it is cold outside, very freaking cold outside, somewhere around 20 something degrees. So we're not out there, we're in here in my lovely bathroom. You see our nice little towels we have right here and a picture frames up on the wall. Really nice. You might see something here in the corner here too. I have most of my Christmas presents in this bathroom right here as I speak. Now, <clears throat> get that out of the way. Little towel that I had there, wiping off the sink bar. Now, here's the deal. It's Christmas, so we're going to do something Christmassy. I, I have never done this on my channel ever before. I've been on YouTube for about a year or two now, and I've never done anything like this, so here it goes. So, let's get right down to it. Now, one thing that I wanted, and I didn't realize my new camera lens, which I don't have in here with me right now, actually came with it, but a flower petal lens. This is a little one. It actually does work on my camera. It's a little one, so it will work. It's nice to have a little backup. I'm not gonna use it right now, but I will keep it on hand in my camera bag. Another thing they end up getting, the Total Fishing Manual. This is something that I have wanted for quite some time. They're in Coeur d'Alene, the Riverstone area, over there by uh, the movie theater, you know, they're Regal. We have a store called the Well Red Moose. Now they've got books in there, they've got puppets and other stuffed animals for kids in there. They had this guy, right here. This guy was also at Costco. So, happened to pick this guy up. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here, like how to cast from a kayak and how to back your boat to the water. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. I've been wanting that one for quite some time. Let me get this and wipe this up real quick. There's some water here. Gotta keep that clean. Get back to it. Now, also something I have in here. Has some stickers in here and say, I shoot raw from Jared Poland from uh, Fronos Photo. I got some uh, Cabela's gift cards in here. All the little loose stuff I kind of kept in here. Unless it was bendable or, or something like that. So, really cool to have some little stickers, have some gift cards, have like 30 bucks worth of gift cards so I can go uh, get some stuff at Cabela's. <laughs> Maybe get me a shirt. I have this window cling from CDAidaho.com. This is for uh, the city of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is about 10, 15 minutes of the road. And uh, I'm gonna put this on the rodeo when it gets a little uh, warmer out, or if I'm in a warmer environment, even so it's cold outside, I'll put it on there. But I'm not doing it right now because I wanna make sure it sticks and stays on good. Plus the rodeo could really use a wash with all that salt that's had on it from uh, all the snow and everything. <clears throat> also in that little baggie that I showed you, I've got my instructions to my new my new lens, which I'll get to here in a moment. I'm saving that for last. I got a Cabela's flashlight. Those new key ring. It's kind of cool. Something to have on me. Don't mind having that. If I say so myself. Or if I don't say so myself. Whatever, how are you saying? Anyway. I got this Cabela's throw right here. Apparently it's got a deer on the front of it, I'm told. I have not yet pulled it out to find out. But we will soon find out if that is true. Matter of fact, while I'm on the camera, why don't I just do that? I have not opened this. I got this this morning, and I have not yet pulled it out. So we're going to pull it out. I'm doing this right here on camera. And yes, it does have a deer on it. It's got a nice, good-sized buck on there. There you go. There's your deer. So now I kind of have me what's called a, what are they calling this? A Rashville Fleece Throw, did I pronounce that right? Let me know down in the comments if you feel like commenting on this. Pretty cool. Now I have me a nice warm blanket to sit and watch movies or TV with. And I don't have to uh, worry about freezing my ass off with this, so. Oh, nice. Okay, get that out of the camera's real view for a little bit, hang on. I don't want them on top of that. Let's fix that. Here. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I got with this shirt right here. It's got deer on it. 
Let's see, it's got some trout on it. It's got a little bit of everything on here. I'll definitely be wearing that. Tell me I don't want to wear quite some time, something like that. I always like outdoorsy shirts like this, so that's kind of fun. Another thing I wanted for Christmas. Wait, I'll say that for towards the last. Let's put that off. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. The next thing I want to talk about, I'm going to keep this thing from falling here. Sorry about me moving out of the way of the camera. I'm having to prop up my camera on some soap bottles here in the bathroom just to make sure it stays up like it's supposed to. <clears throat> I also got a Cabela's extra large tall hoodie. I'll be wearing this soon when I'm out fishing or am I out doing photography or something like that with my new my new lens that I got for Christmas which I haven't shown yet on camera. I will have that on camera pretty soon. I just have not done it yet. Sit. Don't move. Hang on. Not. Another thing I really wanted, and I've wanted this for quite some time. A friend of mine is their primary photographer. I put his information in my last one of my last videos. Put his information down in the description of that video here recently. The one that says ho 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 on the front. This is a CDA Idaho hoodie that matches that window cling you saw me showing a minute ago. I've wanted this for quite some time. Love repping the city of Coeur d'Alene. I love the city of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. This hoodie is awesome and I'm glad that I've got to absolutely have it. After I've been drooling over a friend having it for a while. Like, I want one so I need to get one so let's just do this. <sighs> <laughs> it's going to do a little bit longer video and no this is not live this is just a video to be doing a video one t-shirt that I have been wanting could I do watch Frono's photo you saw the the stickers over here and the little baggie you know the ones that say I shoot raw it's not a sexual term that is a photography term now a while back, and I got the surprise of my life, Jared actually, Jared Poland that is, Jared uh, commented on my page what color that I would like of this shirt. Now, I do like the traditional red and white that he has, but I kind of wanted this one more after a third or thought. Well, when Jared commented on my Instagram, I'm like, cool, oh, sweet. Never had someone like that comment on my Instagram before, so I had, of course, let him know I was a big fan of the show. So yeah, it has I Shoot Raw and has his logo on the back, Frodo's photo. I actually love watching his channel. Um, he's got a lot of good ideas. He encourages young photographers. His videos are never boring. His videos are always something that you want to see. All right, here's what we're going to do. I got to go, go get something and I'll be right back because I've got to do it right here, right now. Okay, that didn't take very long. Now, some of you might remember a video I did here a while back. It said I broke my kit lens. Well, found a way to get everything fixed. Get this out of the shot a little bit. Sorry, I haven't used my bathroom, but it's got the best lighting in the entire apartment here. Unless I move the cam lens in the kitchen the way that I want. This new lens here is a 55 to 200 millimeter Nikon lens for my Nikon D3300. This is a beginner DSLR camera. Like I mentioned, this came with the flower pedal lens. This is a little bit smaller than this, which is kind of nice to have for certain things if I don't want the full hood cover. I could use that so now that my kit lens got broke I have this to use this is a much better lens 
I'm having to get used to how it works because it is a lot faster action. It uh, reacts faster. And I'm having to keep my finger out of the way and not hold my finger like I would in the old 18 to 55 kit lens that I broke. So that's kind of cool. Having a new lens that's a little bit bigger makes taking pictures a lot easier. It's a lot more fun. Well, there you have it. That's my Christmas for 2017. The only thing not pictured is my candy, like in my stocking or some tins that I've got. I didn't picture that. It's not really entirely important. More just like uh, cordial cherries and things like that. I'm not gonna put that out here. I'm just not really important. The stuff that I showed you on camera, that's that's what I got for Christmas. Stuff I've been wanting, especially the CD Idaho hoodie, the I Shoot Raw shirt, which came with some goodies. One of which I didn't even bring in here. I've got a like a bass trailer hitch cover, which is really cool. It goes in your ball hitch, so that's kind of cool. So I have that. I have one of the picks from Jared's I Shoot Raw. He kind of threw that in there, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, well, that's all I have for now. You have a great night, and as always, fish on. Well, I did want to mention the final two things I've got. Now, I didn't have this in the main video, but here's the big bass hitch cover with one of Jared's picks. And my Don't Poke the Bear cop dog. Just wanted to show those because I thought they were pretty cool. Have fun.